Well, it's the kind of recipe you usually only order at a restaurant, but today we're going to learn how easy it is to make it at home. Chef Chris Horton is here from the brand new Firebirds Wood Fired Grill to share their recipe for pecan crusted trout, and it's served with peach salsa and tortilla slaw. It looks so good. Great to have you with us. Thank you, thank you. It's one of my favorite dishes as well. Um, so we're going to be starting. The trick to this one is definitely having hot oil. Okay. So we have the hot oil already going. What kind of oil are you using? We use a canola oil. Okay. That we Good fry in. We also have our trout. It's a four ounce piece of trout. We're doing a lunch portion today. It's be marinated in buttermilk. Okay. And then we have a pecan and panko breadcrumbs that we're going to coat it in. Oh, nice. We'll make sure we get a nice coating on there so it sticks. So you really have to press that in. You have to press that in there to make sure it sticks on there. And the tr when I said trick there earlier was the hot oil, mm -hmm. is so that it doesn't fall off. So we have a nice coating yeah. on there. So the buttermilk really helps it stick. And you always want to make sure you go away. You can hear that sear. Mmm, nice. There we go. This is a really quick recipe too. It, it cooks up pretty quickly. It is pretty quick. Trout's normally a thin, thin piece of fish, so it cooks up pretty quick. You're really just looking for a browning on there. Mm -hmm. That takes probably about a minute and a half max. Yeah. Depends on how hot your oil is. You can oh, kind of see that it's yeah. turning right now. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to drain that oil off. Oh, okay. So we're going to drain that oil right back into the pan. Do a nice little flip. Because eventually this is going into the oven. This will go into the oven at 350 degrees. So you want to start it in the kind of pan that can go into your oven, right? Yep. Oh, it's nice. going to go into the pretty. oven. Have nice golden brown color on the top, and the bottom is going to finish off in the pan. That's great. So, now what's going on top of this once you put that in the oven? We have a peach um, salsa that'll be going right on top of that. It's a peach salsa and a pico de gallo kind of mixed together. Nice. Um, that's going to be garnished right on that with a little bit of a cinnamon or uh, chili rub pecans. Cool. And I love the slaw you serve with this. It's a, a unique concept. Tortilla slaw. Yeah, uh, tortillas. Of course, you're gonna have tortilla strips, which I'm gonna have you make today. Okay, great. So we're gonna take one cup right here of our slaw veg, which is gonna be red cabbage, green cabbage, and napa cabbage and carrots. Mm -hmm. And then we have a half a cup of our tortilla chips. Okay, and the way you make those um, is you're just starting with regular tortillas, slicing them up, and frying them. Yeah, is that right? Uh, just like that, nice thin strips. And we're actually we're almost there. We have to do a tablespoon of pecans while you're mixing those or pumpkin seeds. While you're mixing those together, this and is so a colorful. pinch of cilantro. Okay, and then you're going to use a, a lime vinaigrette dressing. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, a cilantro lime vinaigrette. Okay. Just a little dab of it. One ounce will get you through. And we're offering you that recipe on our website, or if you want to take a shortcut and uh, just buy some store-bought, that's okay. But it won't be quite as good as yours. <laughs> All right, look how colorful that is. That looks terrific. Okay, so this is going on the plate. It's going on the you plate. You trust we're me to be your sous chef? Trust you're going right there at 11 o'clock on that plate. <laughs> or maybe 3 o'clock. Oh, or 3 o'clock. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we're going to take our finished trout. This is the one that's come out of the oven. This is the one that's come out of the oven. And we're going to plate that. Oh, that's beautiful. With the thin side up. Okay. And you're going to take your mango salsa and go right across the bottom right there. How's that? And you're going to do pecans. a tablespoon of pecans right on top. And while we finish this up, take a look over at our um, other things that we've got on the table. I had this Friday night, the lobster spinach queso, amazing. <laughs> it is really good. It gets finished with a little bit of pico de gallo, and we make fresh made chips every day. That's so um, good. One of my favorite appetizers is definitely our best seller. Mm -hmm. And then I know you had the creme brulee cheesecake. Oh my, yeah, that was fabulous as well. Of course, you're known for your steaks. Yes, we are. We are known for our steaks. We cut everything from scratch uh, in-house. Uh, we butcher every day. Um, we use a wood fire grill with all oak and hickory. Um, we have fun with it, and the cooks have a passion behind it, and they really enjoy what they do, and so does all my shoe chefs and uh, all the managers in the restaurant. I really enjoy every single time they step in the building. It's just that smell. Yeah, uh, it's a great vibe there. Really good food and fun people, too. Thanks so much for being with us today. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This looks delicious. It's recipe number 5209. It's online now in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. You're going to want to go check out the new Firebirds Wood Fire Grill. It's located in Brentwood in the Shops at Seven Springs.